guys. So, sorry if there's any noise in the background. Um, I think someone next door is moving in or out, so there is like sounds every now and then. But I really wanted to film um, a tag, and that's why I'm wearing this choker, because it is a throwback tag, and because I'm a 90s girl. So, there's one or two questions um, showing a photo of yourself when you're younger. I don't even have any on... Um, digital formats anymore because all of my hard drives were stolen but um, hopefully I'll find something and also the same with the video. So what year were you born in? I was born in 1990. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, do you have any pictures of yourself from when you were younger? I do have actual photos um, in photo albums with the like stickers on and stuff but um, I don't have any digital anymore thanks to robbers. Um, what TV shows did you grow up watching? I loved Like Mice from Oz. I was obsessed with Like Mice from Oz. Um, My Little Pony was also one of my favourites. And it was when My Little Pony was still fat and not like a supermodel look. The, the new My Little Ponies are so skinny and like long and stuff. Um, the old ones were fat and you'd rub their bum and their like, smell would come out like strawberries or peaches or something like that. Um, loved those shows and what else? Ed, Ed and Eddie, but that was a little bit later years. What did you want to be when you grow up and do you still want to be that? I wanted to be a foreign diplomat because I loved talking <laughs> and I loved um, just connecting people and stuff like that and I wanted to be a reporter because I thought a reporter was a really cool job. She was like always the girl in the front um, interviewing all the cool celebrities and getting to the point of the story and being on TV and you know the news was like an hour segment those days and it was like a real you watch the news so I thought to be a reporter would be a really cool thing. I guess writing and being in front of the camera and stuff like that still comes into play as being a blogger but um, no I'd not like to be a reporter or a foreign diplomat. I think I just heard that word and I thought oh that's what I want to be. Um, then what were your favourite toys to play with? I actually still have Floppy around somewhere. Um, Floppy was my absolute, absolute favourite. Um, given to me when I was born, actually. A little white bunny with very floppy ears, and that's why I called him Floppy. And um, he had a little pink nose, and his nose and his eyes and his ears and everything remained the same, and he was a white bunny. And I'm still proud to say that he's still white, he's not dirty or stained, anything. I'm, I don't know how that happened, but it's pretty impressive in my mind. Um, and then I also had, uh, I don't know what you call them, but it's like the pony head with the stick and then you ride the pony head. Um, yeah, I have that. That was my like absolute favourite. It was a pink pony. I can't remember its name now. It was a pink pony and it had even um, a bridle on and I was obsessed with that and I used to go to my sister's shows because um, she did she did horse riding with this hobby horse that's what it was called with my pink hobby horse so yes very embarrassing um, and then what's the most embarrassing thing that you can remember doing um, I remember that I used to be obsessed with the Spice Girls like seriously obsessed when I was about six and um, I used to go to my one friend's house who had like a really cool entertainment area and I used to dress her up as one of the Spice Girls. I always used to be either Jinjo when Jinjo was still a member or I was um, posh and I used to perform for my friends, parents and family members and um, make sure that the whole like all of the group of friends were each were one um, and every single lunch period we would decide who I would say like I was a bossy child I would say you're gonna be this one you're gonna be that one and blah 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 and then we would perform now I can't sing for shit I'm like not a singer um but we used to dance we used to have dance routines we used to sing along um actually we didn't even sing along we just sang with a microphone like so I'm very embarrassed by that because I know I can't sing. So I don't know what I was, what I sounded like, what we sounded like. It must have been terribly embarrassing. Um, and I used to wear my sister's boob tube as a mini skirt. So I don't know. 
that's very embarrassing. Um, read something you wrote when you were in kindergarten. Well, I don't have anything with me. I'm not really like an attached person when it comes to things like that. I've got tons of artwork in the garage and stories that I wrote and things like that. I remember that the one um, teacher used to make us write like every Monday we would say what we did on the weekend. And the one weekend was um, like when my 80 year old granny then um, climbed the mountain with us. And then my teacher didn't believe me. And then I had to show her photos. <laughs> So I guess that's something I wrote. Um, three songs you love to listen to as a child. That I'm a lover, I'm a mother, I'm a, da, 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 I'm a bitch. Yeah, that. Um, what was the other one? Well, obviously the Spice School songs. If you want to be my lover. That, definitely. And a third song that's not a Spice School song, I'd say. Uh, I like the Smashing Pumpkins song that, like, um, you know, eat the rich, spit out the rest, <laughs> something my, my sister always used to listen to it, so I guess that like influenced me a bit, that and the bitch song, but it was fun, it was very girl powery, so it was still good. Um, what was one funny thing you dressed up for, as, for, dressed up as for Halloween when you were younger? Well, I'd always dress up as a witch, that was kind of just my thing, I was always dressed as a witch, I don't remember not dressing up as a witch, but I remember some costumes being even more awesome than others. Um, sometimes I'd paint my face like green and I'd have like the nose put on with the wart um, and uh, other times I would be like with stockings and like I would I'd go full out. I would go and buy a broom that was a special broom that looked more witchy. So, but I was always a witch. I was very boring like that. Um, well, uh, tell a funny story of something you remember happening to you when you were young. Funny story. Um, I remember, well it's not really that funny but it's weird I guess. I remember when um, I was about 9 or 10 we went on a camp and trip thing. We would go um, away into the mountains and, to, and stay in this place and have to like cook noodles from a can and stuff like that an open fire and the bathroom area was like away and um I remember going in in there and um a baboon came into the bathroom alleyway and I was stuck in there and I remember absolutely freaking out and then well it's not really funny but <laughs> For me it was funny because it was like a funny story, like where do you go that you get like trapped in a bathroom um, with a baboon. Yeah, that was not really funny. I don't know, I can't think of anything that was like hysterically funny. But anyway. Um, are there any special things you've kept from when you were a child? Well, most things have been stolen unfortunately. Um, so I was quite good at keeping things that were important to me. Um, I've kept floppy, of course, and I've kept my like card from when I was born, the hospital card, and I've kept those sort of things. But nothing that's like, I oh, I keep a lot. I still have a lot of like my diaries, but they weren't like dear diary kind of diaries. They were diaries where the school gives you the diary, and then I used to stick tons of stickers, and um, all your friends would like write on each. Day and there would be like a little message and everything. I've got all my school years of diaries of those, all the love letters, all of those, the roses that I would like push and dry. Um, so I kind of like stockpiled all of that sort of stuff. And what was something weird you used to do as a child? Oh, sorry, my legs are going dead. Um, I was quite a weird child actually. Now that I think about it, um, I used to go into the garden and collect herbs and not know what these herbs were because we had quite a cool big herb garden that was like marked herbs and stuff so it wasn't dangerous stuff necessarily but I would concoct teas and try and heal people with my teas um, I guess being a health advisor nowadays is a good thing because I try and heal people but um, yeah I would make teas and I was like seven eight so it was kind of a weird thing because it would be very um, herbaceous kind of 
gritty things. It wasn't like a pretty teacup. Um, and what other weird things did I do? My sister and I used to play really weird games. Um, she used to lock me in the car and tie me up with um, masking tape and then I would have to escape. And that was like one of my favorite games because I learned like how to get out of like handcuffs, like how to make your hand like go in half so that you can slide out of a handcuff. And I learned how to you handcuff from behind, how to get out. Like um, it taught me quite cool things, but it was a very fun game and I always wanted to play like locked in the car, which my mom was like, oh my gosh. My sister's eight years older than me. So she was like quite, she loved playing these kind of games. Um, what's the scariest thing you remember that happened to you when you were younger? I don't remember it because I was a baby, but I do remember the sensation and I do have anxiety and fears from it. Um, when I was a baby baby, I um, swallowed a domino and I choked and I turned blue in my face and like they thought I was dead basically. Um, and because my mom went into such panic, she fainted and she was holding me and she was like, no, and then the, I fell forward and I hit her knee and that dislodged the domino and then I came to after a while. And if I'm like swallowing a capsule and it like hits the back of my throat, I instantly go into this like fear thing. So I have quite intense fear over that, um, like that I'm choking. So I guess I kind of remember that and it was really scary. And the other really scary thing was when I fell off um, and I landed on a corner of a pot plant and um, it was, I've got like this nasty scar that's like dented into my bone. Um, I fell off and it, it landed onto, my, my shin landed on the corner of this uh, ceramic pot and it cracked open my bone and you could see my bone and it was really scary because I was like screaming but I was wanting to faint at the same time from shock and my dad who wasn't very good with seeing blood and seeing things like that he wanted to he was like trying not to throw up but he tried to save me and um it was really scary because it still freaks me out like if I touch that area if I bump that area I, like your I, it bends in so if I'm sitting in a chair and I push the chair forward I feel the sensation and it creeps me out um, and that was also a very scary thing that happened to me that I saw, that I remember graphically, unfortunately. Um, how is the world now different from how it was like when you were a child? I was quite a serious little child, actually. Um, I experienced like a lot of loss throughout my childhood years. Um, I moved a lot and I like lost friends, um, family members died, pets died, and it wasn't like it was. I had a very happy childhood. I was I was super spoiled and had lived in the most amazing places and had so many fun things. Um, but at the same time, I also realized that life was not this amazing thing that's just going to go on and on and on and on forever. I realized that I came to deal with loss quite early on. Um, and that sort of made me a little bit more serious. So I think I, my perspective on life hasn't really changed that much. Um, I, I think I've become more lighthearted than I was as a child, I guess. It's kind of strange when I think about it. And a little bit more like, oh, I'll go with the flow. Whereas when I was a child, I was very, my room was never messy. I was always like, let's keep things clean. Let's keep things sorted. Everything must be in order. And, um... Yeah, I was quite a fearful child. I mean, a fearless child. Now I'm more fearful of things. So, but I think that's normal um, because you realize life isn't always gonna be like safe and stuff like that. Whereas as a child, I was just like, whatever. I'm gonna run and jump and play where the snakes are, and I'm gonna <laughs> do those things. But um, perspective-wise, definitely, I think I've become more chilled now than I was as a little girl. And yeah, this is really super fun tag, and I know I didn't do two or three of the questions, but um, that's just unfortunate. But I do love tags, and if you have a super awesome tag for me to do, then please leave it in the comment section below. Um, and if you like my videos, give them a like, subscribe, 
I always appreciate it and um, I'm really enjoying doing videos again so I hope you guys are enjoying watching them. Thank you, bye!